Hello dear backpackers, or rather YouTubers and filmmakers. Today I wanted to quickly show you a problem I have encountered when making a parallax composite shot in Hudson for Express and how to work around it. If you're watching this video then you probably know what the parallax effect is. Basically, it's about dividing the image into multiple layers to create an illusion of movement and three-dimensional depth on a still two-dimensional image. However, in most of the tutorials, at least the ones I've seen on YouTube, I linked uh, some of them in the description, the effect is applied to a very structured perpendicular layered pictures with clear division between foreground, middle ground and background. In most of the cases that means no people or any type of vertical objects in the foreground. But what if you wanted to make a parallax shot with a person in the foreground? Let's have a look. So you're in your hit film. You see that whatever you do, when you animate the camera, everything falls apart. And if you notice, it mainly falls apart in here, around the silhouette. Now, that's because normally you shouldn't really have any vertical objects in the first um, zone, in the first layer going across all the other layers. So if you move camera side to side you see that in a certain in certain limits the back areas the, the mountains work well and you can see the shift and uh, the parallax effect but in here on the silhouette everything starts showing up immediately when you start moving camera. That's because it goes all through those layers and you cannot overlay them as much as you normally would <clears throat> to reduce this, uh, to, to basically prevent those black areas, uh, masks, uh, from showing. So, um, what you really have to do is have basically pictures which have nice, clean foreground, and middle ground and background with no vertical objects of any kind going through many layers because then you will have this effect. Now what to do if you actually want to show a person, for example, like in this case, uh, on the backdrop of the mountains and then animate that. Well, <clears throat> ideally, you would like to have the same shot with and without the person. Then you can easily animate, uh, overlay these two pictures, take out the person from the first picture and put it against the other one. So in this case, you would basically do this. You would have a person and then you could put in the background a layered picture without that person because when you move the camera you're missing data in the exact spot where that person is so you need to fill it up now obviously at this point you probably don't have the picture so what can you do well the oldest trick in the book I suppose you could go to GIMP or Photoshop or whatever you're using and then basically cut that person out using trusty clones tool. So what you would do normally is just use the clone tool here, it's from the toolbox. You control click in the place which you want to copy from then move away while still holding the control key into a certain distance, release the control key and slowly copy the area over. Now you want to be careful to be aligned with the layers as the, uh, of the picture. So you can see in here you have short grass area, then in the background you have a bit of a taller grass area, then you have a transition to the trees, then you have trees themselves, then you have a transition to the mountain which is still further away, then you have the mountain itself, then you have transition to the far background and the background itself and then the burnt out sky. So you need to copy all these sort of layers as you go. You, you cannot do it all in one shot because if you do that, well, it doesn't work very well.
So, what you do want to do is you have your original picture, copy it, and just make a, a backup of it. 73, and we have a copy. Perfect. So now I'm going to overwrite this one. I'm going to export this a JPG as it is. Export. We want to replace it. Use no compression. And what should happen is that when we reload hit film, there you go. You see? The silhouette has disappeared. Now obviously there is a trace of it, so what I'm going to do now is insert the copy of the image we've used. So I'm going to insert it in here and see how well it overlays. Well, it is almost there. So as you can see in here, it's almost aligned, aligned in here. But as you go out, it's increasingly misaligned. Now we're only going to be needing a silhouette from this picture, so we don't really care as much. And now we can just fit her into... See that outline where the layers meet? You can just fit her right into it. So now, how do you cut her out? Well, it's quite easy actually. You just copy the masks from the previous layer and you just paste them. You copy them, make sure you select the right one, you paste them and there they are. And as you can see it fits. So now if we switch her, she's not there. And then an even greater part, once we scale to fit, when we animate now, <clears throat> the seams in here still show this thing, and we still have to eliminate it somehow. And that's because we have worked on a, on a picture with the silhouette present on all layers, but now the silhouette is present only on some of the layers, so we can remove the unnecessary masks. In this case, this mask, this mask, this one and this one are unnecessary so we switch them off and we did it for all the layers and that's great because you can just click the mask and see which one is which if you named them in advance that would be even easier <clears throat> there we go and we have no masks, oh we still have a mask, let's switch it off there we go. So now when we animate... Boom! Nothing happens and you have a lot... A lot of free freedom to animate however you see a fit. So let's just back this layer up to full transparency... Full, sorry, and no transparency, full opacity. And then you can do with the parallax whatever the hell you want. And look at the effect it has. Only just be careful because you see there is no shoes. So better just move inwards. And you feel as if you are flying over there. And look at the amount of freedom you have. It's just so cool. This way or this way. And now I'm going to remove the old layer. And let's have some fun. Beautiful. Just be careful you do you do not overdo it because you can see the seams already start to show in here. So um, if you have the middle ground, you can just then move it up up a bit to cover more of the uh, picture, and it will be nicer. See there and there. Beautiful. And if you guys liked it, um, please obviously like. If you have any questions regarding the simple cloning technique in GIMP or uh, the parallax effect in HitFilm4Express, then um, let me know and I'll try to explain. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.